Welcome into your HSGC basketball tutorial on just the basic navigation and setup of the application. So once you go ahead and you log into your account and you'll do so by just putting in your account email and password. Um, as you can see here there's just a couple different things you can do from the app um, and you can do it all here from this bottom dock. So on the teams page you will notice that it will simply have um, your team listed there on that page. If you have multiple teams, you'll be able to click on this arrow and see the different teams listed. Um, the different, you'll see the level of the team, the abbreviation, the gender, and then you'll be able to go in and you'll see the different seasons will be there as well. So you're going to want to make sure that the team that you want to use is selected and your season is selected, and that's pretty much all you have to do from the teams page. From the schedule tab, you'll see all of your upcoming games and you'll be able to um, go ahead and you'll be able to, as you add new games onto the HS Game Center website, you'll be able to refresh this page and those new games will populate into the app. Um, once you've got a game, you can see here, you can just click this orange arrow, you'll be able to change the date, um, you'll even be able to go into the roster, and you'll be able to make sure that the your team or your opponent team has a roster. So for this instance, the opponent, opponent team does not have a roster, I would be able to go in here and click this plus and add it. Um, for my team, Richmond Heights, as I can see, I can go into roster, I can select player add, and I can put a player in and save him, and he will now appear on the roster right there. So that is what you, you can do there. You can go ahead and change the game type, the game location, etc all from the game details page. So once again, um, that's as simple as clicking the schedule and then clicking this orange arrow and that will take you into those game details page. If you need to add a game from the um, device, you can just go ahead and choose the information you need to choose. Uh, your team, your opponent's team, it will be just like selecting a game from the HS Game Center website You'll be able to go in and do it by conference state or other states. So, for instance, I can just select my opponent. I can select if it's home or away in a scrimmage. And I can just go ahead and click the save feature. And now that game will appear in my schedule. So that's what you can do from the schedule. Um, you'll be able to go in and um, edit games that are already in there, create new games, um, and change the game details. From the roster page, you'll see here is just simply my roster. Um, by clicking on a player, I can go ahead and edit him. So if Tom actually changes his jersey from 21 to 22, I can just click on the player. I can simply save it, and it will make that change, and he will now be saved on the app like that. If I want to add a new player, I can simply just click the plus sign and add a new player. From the settings page, it's going to just going to show you your login. Um, your password will not be there and you will see which version of the app you have which is the latest. The rest of the stuff you're not really going to use so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, as far as the games you can change the length of your period uh, periods, the um, length of your overtime and if you play halves instead of periods you can go ahead and select two halves and change the number of minutes that way. I'll leave it at four and go back. The only other thing you can do here from the account page is you can click on Facebook and you can log into your Facebook account. You can link this program up to send out updates. You know, as things happen during the game, if your school, for instance, has a team Facebook page, you would be able to go ahead and send those out by logging in. And the same thing with Twitter. If you log into Twitter, you can set it up to automatically tweet out for instance, end of the quarter scores, halftime scores, and final scores right from your Twitter account all by just linking in to the app. And then the only other option here on this the app is the help page. This will take you to some of, uh, I'll show you some of the other tech support options as well as how to reach us at tech support. Um, by going to that hsgamecenter.com.uservoice.com and you will find some video tutorials there as well as some other helpful question and answer uh, FAQ type things from our support side.
So very basic, very simple on the app. Um, so you've got your help, you've got your settings, you've got your roster, you've got your teams, you've got your schedule. And then the only other thing that you will need to know how to do from a basic setup standpoint is when you are ready to start a game, all I need to do is I go to my schedule and I just click right on that game and, um, and that is how I will begin to start the game. So and I can get back by selecting the back button at any time. So very easy to navigate. The, those are your basic settings uh, for the app. We will have a second tutorial where we will break down um, all of the play entry and data entry into the game so you can learn how to stat your game. Uh, so check out some of our other tutorials uh, for help actually stat in a game uh, and some other various features that we'll have set up this season.